As they were arguing, the light died. Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In this powerful message, Rev. Isaac O'Malian addresses a pressing concern, why the church is dying. He highlights the neglect of scripture and true teachings as key reasons for this decline. Distraction and loss of focus on spiritual growth are eroding the foundation of faith. Rev. O'Malian calls for a return to genuine worship and community. Join us in this critical conversation and learn how we can revive the church together. When we started preaching in Lokoja, we were using gas lamp to preach crusade. How many of you remember gas lamp? The one you pump. You won't know it here. And since you don't know it, may you never know it. Of course, you can't know it again. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Somebody carried the lamp on his head and climbed the table. Because of the person that is going to read the Bible, he will stand near the person. And if the kerosene is going down, you pump it on the head of the man. You told him, Bori Edro, then you be pumping pump the thing on top of his head. Put your head correct because you pump it. And one day, the kerosene was reducing because, and the light of the lamp was going down. Then we sent a brother to please run to the other place where they sell kerosene and buy kerosene. He didn't come on time. He got there. They said the woman went out, but he didn't go far. So the brother stayed for the woman to arrive and bring kerosene. Meanwhile, the light was going down. And the brother just looked around in those, the days of Omiye and saw a bottle of water and thought it was kerosene. So he poured it, quickly cocked it and pumped it, pumped it and the light with water. <laughs> then the brother eventually returned with kerosene and went to look for where he kept his water and did not find it. The first thing he asked, said, who took this water from here? <laughs> then somebody said, we thought it was kerosene and we poured it. Then he started to argue. You thought it was kerosene, you can't smell. <laughs> you don't know the difference between water and kerosene. What's wrong with you? That one said, don't talk to me like that. Am I your mate? <laughs> then he answered, this is how you used to do. And then he referred to another. That one said, you can't talk. As they were arguing, the light died. Are you able to get a message? Yes. As they argued yes. like that. Hey. In our presence. Hey. And when they pumped, when they put water in it, the light was shining. We have seen things though, that we put water in a place where kerosene was and the light was shining. But when they were arguing, You look at look at look at us today. <laughs> While we are arguing, mm. the light. Ah. I think Moses Aronsiola was in that meeting. If you see him, you can ask him. <laughs> Moses Aronsiola, he used to interpret for J.K. Solomon. I worked with Obadari before he died, the last seven years of his life. He called me one day and said, I have 27 court cases. And this morning I took my phone to look at different court cases. 
the number of court cases Assemblies of God has. Assemblies of God have a case up to Supreme Court where the Muslims are the one to decide who the general superintendent of Assemblies of God in Nigeria will be. The Muslims in Supreme Court, they are the ones now to decide who the general superintendent of Assemblies of God will be. This is not to our credit. Men and brethren, you go, I was the convention speaker in the African church in Abekuta, and the prelate has a court case against the council. He had served his tenure and they wanted him out. He said no, that they need to adjust the constitution to enable him to continue. And it became a court case. And while they are arguing and, con and pointing fingers at themselves, the church is dying. I am telling you that while we are arguing, the light is what? Is dying. Recently, I passed through Nineveh. And you will not believe that it's the same Nineveh that uh, everybody became a Christian, became godly, and repented when Jonah came to town. Right now, right at the airport, you'll be hearing the blaring sound of people calling for Islamic prayer. You go to Nineveh today, there's no church. While we are arguing, the light went out. You are supposed to know that the president of North America, Libya, they were Christians. Mauritania, Morocco, they were all Christians. The whole country were 100% Christians. Turkey, Constantinople. They were all Christians, 100%. But when we came to a point when we are arguing about Holy Communion, we are arguing about baptism, we are arguing about the sacraments, the light. Meanwhile, the darkness we met on ground is still there. And they are multiplying their own intensity. But our own light, even if it were a candlelight, if only we were able to even sustain that, light is light. But even our light, so small, is going out. And what we have now is relics of Christianity and the history of its practice. And that's what we are announcing and priding ourselves in. Recently, a former vice chancellor had been awarded the license to start Ifa University in Nigeria. Abi? Some of you know him. Yeah. Bola Abimbola. One day Abimbola. He was the former vice chancellor of Ife. He, 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 he took his professorial dissertation on Ifa. So, Ongoman Difa as a professor of IFA, and has approached the Nigerian Universities Commission and they have given him license to start IFA University in the same Southwest where we pride ourselves. Very soon he will start the university in Southwest. Yoruba children will be his first graduates. And what you are going to see is the setting up of IFA temples all around. So our people go to church on Sunday. That's how they will also be going to the IFA temples to worship. This is where we're heading. As we argued, the light going down. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you! If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church, and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. 
consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.